Assalamu alaikum i dobro pojalovit na moj kanal. My legal birth name is Language Simp, and I am a hyper polyglot gigachad alpha male who is very attractive to every woman and man on the planet. And today I will be going through languages of the world and explaining the most difficult thing about each of them. If you're thinking of learning a foreign language, this video will show you the challenges that you may find depending on which language you choose to study. Without further ado, let's get down to business. A lot of people say that the French accent is really difficult to pull off. Mais moi je dis quoi de la fuck wesh, c'est pas sourcier. Just make the ro 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 sound, dude, it's easy. The true difficulty starts when someone from Quebec opens their mouth. They claim that they're speaking French, but there is no way that that's the same language. Even some parts of France admittedly have ridiculous, unintelligible accents. Si je pouvais remonter le temps, j'apprendrais le français africain. When you learn a language, you need people to speak to. It's tough to find people to speak Latin with because they're all dead. Most modern day Latin speakers are absolute nerds who read books all day about boring ass Roman shit. These betas learn Latin to study history, but alpha male gigachads study Latin so they can flirt with sexy Latinas. I heard that Japanese grammar is quite tough and that the language has three alphabets or something, but the hardest thing about learning Japanese is resisting the urge to base your entire personality around the fact that you study Japanese and watch anime. It's tough for Japanese learners to resist spending all of their money on body pillows or their waifus, which has to be the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. There are like 300 ways to say every word in Russian. Look at all the ways you can say book. I just want to learn one word, not memorize an entire dictionary. Let me show you how much I hate cases. This here is my favorite body pillow that I sleep with every night after watching anime. Pretend like my waifu is the accusative plural form of the word gorid. The hardest part of learning Arabic is resisting the urge to convert to Islam, which is a constant struggle. Also, some of the sounds like Elif Beta Thagim, Hehe, Delver, Rose, Sin, Shin, Sota, the Ain, Ain, Fuck off! are tough to pronounce for monolingual betas. For the longest time I struggled with the ha in but now I think I can say it close to correct, mashallah. It is so hard to concentrate when you're speaking Chinese because every single Chinese person is super shocked when a foreigner starts to speak their language. I once said ni hao to a woman in Chinatown and she got so excited that she died. But have you seen the reactions that Shalma gets when he speaks Chinese? Either he has some really good Mandarin or he's super freaking hot or both. Also, Chinese characters are super easy to read since they all look exactly like what they mean, so the language isn't very difficult in general. Considering American, what I'm speaking in right now, is the default spawn language of the world, it isn't really difficult. However, when I speak with the accent from my home village in Pennsylvania, People claim they don't understand. Kellogg's, Mildis, Tim Lupin, Measure Job, Pelt, Wee, Moser, Dimension Cam, The Man, Norfolk, Pro Bills, Any, Sand, Fell, How Like, In Order, Pre-Rob, Tafli, Gosh, Rips. Spanish has so many diverse accents, which is really cool until it becomes really toxic. Mexicans, Colombians, and Spaniards are also easy to understand when they speak. In some countries like Puerto Rico, however, they claim to speak Spanish, but they really just speak gibberish. I firmly believe that Cubans, Puerto Ricans and Chili's do not communicate amongst themselves. They just make random noises and hope people guess what they want. No one speaks anything in those countries. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir algo en mi acento normal, hablo así. Pero si quiero hablar como si fuera de Cuba, hablo de Cuba. Hablo Cuba. Español Cuba. For me, the hardest part of Portuguese is not accidentally switching to Spanish, since these languages are so similar. Let's see how long I can last. That's what she said. Eu vou falar em português, mas não é muito fácil para mim porque eu sou... What's the word? Ah, de los Estados Unidos de América. Joder! I don't think that spaces exist in the Turkish language. This is the average word in Turkish. Mava, fuck, I, yet, sizzle, stir, skip a few, sizzain. Look at how long that is. You couldn't force me to read that entire thing. If someone invented the space bar in Turkey, they would be rich. 
The hardest part of Italian is trying to not sound stereotypical like Mario and Luigi. But the thing is, they actually speak like that. I'm not kidding. They get mad when I say, Parlo un po' di italiano, ma non parlo molto bene. Piacciono le lingue straniere in generale. La pasta e la pizza d'Italia. But it's dead accurate. Also, what in the holy name of Steve Kaufman is this supposed to be? How the hell am I supposed to say this? Glee. Italian has way too many articles for a romance language. The hardest part about Danish is the soft D. It's even hard for me to pronounce, like in and in Why is the D so soft? It's impossible to resist the primal urge to quit Swedish and switch to learning Danish, which is by far the best Nordic language. Swedish just overcomplicates everything and tries way too hard to sound cool. Let me engage my Swedish accent real quick. I'm from Sweden. Now listen to how extra Swedish is. Ja prata lite svenska. Versus how giga chat and straightforward Danish is. Jeg snakker lite svensk. It's tough to speak Dutch and not tear your throat apart when you pronounce the H sound, like in How the hell do Dutch people speak this language for more than 20 minutes a day without dying? Also, these tall tree-looking people will switch to American if you make one minor mistake in Dutch, so you better be ready to pretend to not speak American if you want them to help you practice. I'm pretty sure that the entire Polish language is just a glitch. These consonant clusters are absolutely insane. But watch, I sound like a native. Imagine if the American language barely had any vowels. Listen to the sentence, I am a hyperpolyglot gigachad, but without the vowels. That also probably just meant something in Polish now that I think of it. It's difficult for some betas to properly align the glenohumeral joint when pronouncing reverse testicular fricatives in ancient Albanian sign language. Also, the vocab can be tricky because if you say this, that means how are you? But if you make a mistake and say this, it's a really bad slur. The Korean alphabet looks insane to me. So many of the letters look way too similar. I promise I would learn Korean if someone stepped in and redesigned this overly complicated alphabet. I also refuse to look any further into the language until the Korean peninsula reunifies. The hardest part about German is how you have to put the verb at the end of the sentence. Ich will deine Mutter die ganze Nacht im glühenden Mondlicht auf einem Burger King. I don't even remember what I was going to say. So toxic. Every time I've studied Tagalog, I get so confused because no one speaks Tagalog. They speak Taglish, which is a mixture of Tagalog and American. Instead of saying, ito ay mahirap, I hear, ito ay difficult, or it is mahirap. Just stick to one language, please. I want to live in the Philippines, but this makes me so sad. Esperanto is racist, and it's very hard for anyone who doesn't speak a European language. I know everyone says that Esperanto was specifically designed so that everyone in the world can easily learn it, but it clearly favors Westerners, and therefore I hate it. I would learn Esperanto tomorrow if it switched to using the Arabic alphabet. If I didn't mention a language in this video, chances are that there are not a lot of resources to learn it, which makes it exponentially harder to begin with. Let me know in the comments what you find difficult about different languages, and be sure to subscribe. Até logo.